OK, Dennis, these are good times for Connacht Kilty football. First of all, your reaction to getting back up to Division 1 at senior level is a fantastic achievement after a few years down in Division 2. It was. Um, it already is. It, I suppose it was one of the prime two objectives set out at the start of the year, get promotion from Division 2 back to Division 1, and obviously progress further when it, from the, the group stage in the championship. Objective 1 has been achieved, mm. so who knows? Um, you know, we're, we're, we're hopeful. We're hopeful. Yeah, there's a good core of young players that have been knocking around that panel but are starting to get you know, their feet now, they're getting their first team plays. They are. That's it, important. It is, and it was, it's our second year with this, our same manager. So last year, we were all on a learning curve. Yeah. But the manager to get to know the players, the players to get to know the manager, they know, know each other's ways, and I suppose that the results are, being, are proving that, you know, it's paying dividends. You would be hoping that that momentum would filter down to the Bandling Co-op Junior Red Football Championship, which has been launched here tonight. Connacht Kilty have got a tough try. They've got the champions by your own. Local rivals, Carby Rangers and St. Mary's are always a tough one to crack. So it's not a cliche, but there's just no easy games with junior A. There's not. And I suppose this year, you know, our, we're playing in a lower division in the league, in the, in the West Cork Junior League. And I suppose it's helping the players. They're developing more. They're training away with the senior lads. So they know, I suppose, yeah. we're trying to develop the same style. So fellas can slot in in relation to the group we're in. We had two of those teams last year as well, Barry Raw and um, St. Mary's. And, you know, I suppose, why well, last year we, it wasn't our best performance. We, okay, we, we, we quit ourselves fairly okay. Yeah. We'd be hopeful that this year, with the younger players we have, and, you know, hopeful that we'd be able to maybe cause a surprise. That's the idea. Um, and just finally, from, from a club's point of view, just the fact that the group stages are very, you know, arranged up front, and then you know when a quarter-final and semi-final are playing, that must make it easier. I know you're dependent on the weather and a lot of other things, but from the, from the West Cork Championship point of view, you're a fan of this format? Um, yeah, I suppose look, it brings certainty for the players as well. They know when, when the games are on, they can, you know, plan holidays, this kind yeah. of thing. So it, it does bring that to it. And yeah, look, it, it's, I suppose at the end of the day, you have to go out and beat who's in front of you, no matter what the system is. But yeah, by and large, yes, we would be in favour.